Hot 97 Morning Show. Uh, he's been here all morning warming up for this moment. It is time to go live to our guy Rosenberg at the Love and Hip Hop Woo! New York desk. Rosenberg, take us away. What a finale for Love and Hip Hop New York, it wasn't, Ebro. It wasn't a finale, though. What a near finale <laughs> it was for Love and Hip Hop New York. What, you mean you're calling the uh, reunion the finale? No, next, no, it just wasn't the finale. There's another episode? Yeah. What a terrible way to end Love and Hip Hop New York. Because it said scenes from the next and showed the reunion episode. <laughs> no, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes. Not. Guys, I don't care if you work for VH1 and you're on Love & Hip Hop. Ain't no one walking in this room listen, and telling me about Love & Hip Hop. Listen, listen, listen Rosenberg, though. Joe Button, focus and give the people what they want. Last night on Love & Hip Hop, there are so many different things you can focus on. The relationship between Sin Santana and Eric Mena, it's at an incredible level right now. We still don't know what's going to happen between Rich Dollars and yes, Eric Mena moving forward. <laughs> we the know drama. everything. And guys, it's unbelievable. Has Peter Guns really seen the air of his ways? Is he starting to treat Tara with some level of respect and take his relationship with Amina Butterfly to another level? That's how it appears. Yeah, don't ever say Amina Butterfly. So Saigon and Erica Jean, who cares? <laughs> Which is exactly how I feel about all storylines currently related to Yandy. No disrespect, Yandy. Love you, Yandy. Love you, Yandy. But when you and Tara get together, I think one thing. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Let's get to the real subject. Joe Budden proposing last night on Love and Hip Hop to Tahiri, and we have the audio. Will you marry me? Love is trust. And I don't trust you right now. But I can't believe you. Like, one day you're good, one day you're bad, one day it's foundation on my pillowcases, one day you have a ring. How am I supposed to believe you? That's a no. I've never seen someone answer their own proposal before. <laughs> but that's what happened to Joe last night. Joe, I want to ask you, I have questions to ask you. The first thing I want to tell you is make me a promise. The next time you propose to Tahiri or someone else, please take the gum out of your oh, mouth right. first. Yes, the gum. This is Joe Button's proposer. Will you marry... I needed that gum, though. Me. I need, you know what? Do you, an Altoid, man. It's a proposal. You know, well, there were no Altoids around. Number one, number two. I never do gum, ever, ever, ever. I was nervous as as a word I can't say on the radio. Okay, so how how that gum? How did it? How did it feel? It was not the best proposal I've ever seen. It was a great proposal. No, the setup was great, but I mean, me? the result wasn't what you wanted. No. No, but you know, and I'm mad at the editors. They edited so much out. But you know, in the scene that I shot with my mom afterward, you know, I expressed how the answer didn't take away from how beautiful the night was, like for me, with the family there and and just leading up to it and the ring and the just wedding planning, like all of that was great still. And that was real to you. That was real. Are you implying that? No. <laughs> are, you, are you implying? We would never do that. <laughs> never. Not at the Love and Hip Hop New York desk. Oh, okay. Cool. But so you're saying the fact that you had her family in front of you and they were able to see how you felt. And you family, were... period. Not not just her family. My, my family as well. So for everyone to see that you do take her that seriously. And the no, it was, gr I think it was great for a man to do. Like when you feel that way and to actually do it. Sans the, the no. But when you took the ring and then closed the case and put it back in your and they suede got the, and felt they, jacket And they pocket. got the dramatic shot of the box of closing. Of the box it closing. Like a door slamming on life. Boom. <laughs> it was so, that was Aww. pretty cute. Oh, look at you. Don't. She oh. feels bad. I was so sad. Because oh. you know what? It was a sweet proposal. You know, it was really sweet. You offered me box after that Aww. episode? Oh, Joe, that's not... So no, I'm just saying, don't feel bad. Listen, alley you box <laughs> you, after you Ebro. get dissed by Ebro. Sympathy box is some of the best box you could ever get. Ebro, I know this is hard for you to accept. You're much more off the market than Joe Budden is. No, I am completely. It's over. But I'm just saying, alley you box after you get dissed Yo. on a proposal is not the box you want. Oh, oh, that got it. Okay, got it. You were saying alley oop it to you. No, 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 no. no. You're saying well, you're getting alley oop. Yeah, that's not who you want. Girls are tossing it to you. Yeah, no. Yo, Yo, Joe, let me ask you. In all seriousness, want guys that are off the market. But anyway, <laughs> um, you are you gonna go take another crack at this with Tahiri, or is the relationship no way. done? No way. You would never try it I'm again. I'm never doing that again. That would never happen again. 
So you felt that even though in her ever, 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 ever. But she had. Let me put it this way. She what she said wasn't wrong. It wasn't wrong on the show. In 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 real life, it was all wrong. Mm. 